had begun to multiply. I took this being upon my back, not knowing their origins or kind, but kindness is a human trait. I couldn't leave them behind. Resilience gleamed in the teary gaze as they turned their face to mine. Far beyond defeat or fear, eyes with a steely shine. Releasing the harm internalized as tears fell like rain. Cleansing, renewing, purifying. No longer surviving in vain. I nourished this being back to health. They began to flourish and thrive. A rich green aura came from within, bringing them vibrantly alive. Green rays shone from their very core as into their power they grew, freed from the lies that they once were told of auras, only pink or blue. But then when they returned to this world with hopes it would now be benign, few others could see beyond two colors and their shine began to decline. They came back to me for shelter once more and together we agreed to try to create a culture both free and kind, where no color would live a lie. And so we began to build and to plan, inviting the others we found to bring their colors of every shade to this place of common ground. We built a community so welcoming that soon others wanted to come. Even pinks and blues that once were cruel were no longer quite so troublesome. So instead of fighting our way to the top in a world that hated our souls, our new way of living brought others to join, leaving behind their rigid controls. And soon their systems fell apart, but nobody cared anymore. With these new ways where all were free, people's truths began to restore. And so, dear ones, this is how the once shriveled being and I formed a vision beyond pink and blue and helped the world to unify.
as you are changes every day. Not everyone is like this, yet you are not the only one. Few among humans, many among nature. Look at the trees, those that change with the seasons, the hickory you visit when others hurt you, the maple you sit in to read, the oak you sleep under sometimes in the summer. They all change. Even the hemlocks and white pine that frame the stream, did you know they go through phases too? Just watch this spring when the pollen blows on the wind and pine cones begin to form. And in the autumn, when needles turn brown and fall, leaving the rest glossier than before. Sweet one, you are not a machine something to do the same and be the same day in and day out. If the people have forgotten, turn to the trees and the wind and the water. You are being raised by them too. Just listen to the stream whose sounds change after the smallest rainfall, going from trickle to torrent and with a summer storm. When you walk along the banks of Splash in the Flow, you'll find waterfalls and wide pools, deep gullies and slow ribbons of water wandering through the rocks. Wander amongst them yourself and wonder, what might this stone have been like many years ago? 
stones change too, their faces smoothed by the water as they change the water's own course. So learn, dear one, but do not despair of the human world, for they grow and learn too, even though many do not ebb and flow as you do. You are so lucky to live in this generation, though it may not seem that way yet. The tide is turning, returning to the shore it left many years ago, a time when people like you were not only accepted but honored for the unique gifts they bring to the world. And you bring so many gifts. They will be needed in this tide. The gifts do not mean your path will be easy. This is a hard path you walk. There will be pain, words and fists thrown your way. But the spirit by your side, you will get through. In this time of tides, of turning and change, you won't just survive, you'll thrive. This thriving too is in the manner of trees, roots grounded in the bedrock of divine love, spirit coursing through your veins. Cycles flow, bud, blossom, and fruit, the seeds touch deep. Your music, your words, your imaginings call forth this new life, sown in hearts and minds. A Pied Piper calling drops of water to flow ahead of the tide, those drops catching others and bringing them along. Beloved one, you will not be understood by all. Do not try to change yourself for them. Do not try to fit in a narrow box. You are more glorious than any one box. Others are too, in different ways, though they may not know it yet. This knowing has been waylaid by a world of machines, boxes, and ladders, and by people who think we must fit in these rigid forms. You will try this for a little while, try out different boxes. Though it may feel like being waylaid yourself at times, do not be discouraged. This part of your journey is about learning to understand many points of view, to be able to speak in different languages, even, they all, even though they may all be in English. Your place is in the middle. Though others may perceive this middle as far on the edge, and there are many other middles out there. You are in the middle of not only different groups of people, but also between humans and nature in the spaces between the past and present and future, understanding pieces of many communities throughout time and between what is and what could be. So much could be, beautiful one. Learn the lessons of spirit, of the trees and the water, even of the people who cross your path. So what you learn from people may be different from what they are trying to teach. Most importantly, imagine, little one. Sink down into the arms of divine love and imagine the world we could live in. The slight shifts from society today that open whole new realms of possibilities and of freedom. These visions will carry you, carry others with you on the journey. You are not alone. Your shining brilliance and joy for life peeks through the cracks even now, and we can see it. Me and the spirit guides that are always with you, and that are with me now. Let the joy and wonder fly free. Follow and be followed in the journey.
try to erase our stories, erase our multicolored identities, erase our very bodies from this earth. But they cannot hide the stories the land holds for us. The rain that returns the knowing to us. The sun which sparks seeds hidden within us. For we are reflected in seasonal cycles of creation and growth. In every raindrop and color of the rainbow, in fire's transformative power. Since we are natural to this earth, are made in the image of nature's wide spectrum, are intrinsic to humanity, rebirth, and wholeness. try to erase our stories, but they cannot hide the stories the land holds for us. For we are reflected in seasonal cycles of creation and growth, since we are natural to this earth. They can try to erase our multicolored identities, but they cannot hide the rain that returns the knowing to us. For we are reflected in every raindrop and color of the rainbow, since we are made in the image of nature's wide spectrums. They can try to erase our very bodies from this earth, but they cannot hide the sun which sparks seeds hidden within us. For we are reflected in fire's transformative power since we are intrinsic to humanity's rebirth and wholeness.